Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Question 49. You need to create a data loading pattern for a type 1 slowly changing dimension, SCD. Which two actions should you include in the process? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. A. Update rows when the non-key attributes have changed. B. Insert new rows when the natural key exists in the dimension table and the non-key attribute values have changed. C. Update the effective end date of rows when the non-key attribute values have changed. D. Insert new records when the natural key is a new value in the table. Please pause the video and think through the answer options and then check the answer. The correct answers are options A and D. Option A. Update rows when the non-key attributes have changed is correct because this is the core mechanism of a type 1 SCD. The objective is to update existing records with new data when there are changes in non-key attributes, overwriting the old data. This process ensures the dimension table always reflects the most current state of data without retaining historical versions. Option D. Insert new records when the natural key is a new value in the table. When a new data entry comes in with a natural key that doesn't yet exist in the dimension table, we need to add it as a new record. This action isn't about managing changes to existing data, but is crucial for adding new elements into the database. Thus, this is a correct answer choice. Option B is incorrect, because in a Type 1 SCD, the practice is to update existing rows rather than duplicate them when changes to non-key attributes occur. Inserting new rows under these circumstances aligns more with Type 2 SCD practices, which preserve historical data by maintaining different versions of records. If you considered option C as correct, you should have been sure that the SCD table that the question is asking has an effective end date column, and usually managing effective dates is a characteristic of a Type 2 SCD, where it's necessary to track the historical period during which certain data values were valid. In a Type 1 SCD, there is no concept of tracking historical periods with start and end dates because data is simply overwritten. Like in the documentation, if you see there is a modified date in SCD Type 1, and if the question provided this image, we would be confident that option is also correct. But again, the question asks for select the two actions, and the most important ones are option A and D. 1. Updates are performed on existing records when there are changes to non-key attributes. 2. Insertions occur only for completely new keys that do not exist in the dimension table. Sometimes it is better not to overthink and answer the question. To refresh your memory on SCD types, please pause the video and read through it or visit the link mentioned in the description. See you with another question. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos.